folks, 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 we are absolutely here and accounted for. This is Adventures of the Black Nerds, powered and distributed all across the universe by Tone Deaf Network. That's my guy, man. Tone is hilarious. Yeah, Tone, uh, Tone gets the conversation started when he posts something on Facebook. Shout out to Oh, Tone. yeah. Bro, he be having people hot. I think it's freaking hilarious. Uh, they be really, they be mad or argue. It's awesome. Yeah. But no, for real. Shout out to the fam, man. I really appreciate y'all. Uh, thank you for being in there with us. Um, but I'm Baron J67. I'm T Jones, and we're back. How you been, bro? Yes, sir. How you man, been? You know what? I've actually been pretty damn good, man. T- um, t- tell the people what you've been doing. Tell them. Tell them what oh, you've been doing. Bro. So I've went ham um, in a good way, in a paced way. Like my problem normally is I go gun ho and burn my clip and then I'm exhausted. But I've been patiently and sm- smartly. It's not a word, but I'll use it. Uh, uh, I've been streaming like crazy. Uh, I got a schedule set. I've rebranded everything. Twitch.tv uh, slash Baron J67. <clears throat> yep. The RPG gamer. That's who I am, man. I finally I finally accepted who I am. I I've Damn, like bro. I, I've go ahead. I can't believe you did it. Yeah, I, I I really have. I've seriously just completely put on the cow and I am the RPG gamer. I, it took me a minute. I wrote it down. It's so funny. <laughs> Like I think I have it here. Uh, yeah, it was like you know, find a uh, find streamers you like and look at them and watch what they do. Mm-hmm. Review your streams, and then really write down what you enjoy. And the thing I enjoy most is RPG games. Like hands down, that is if That's it's got stats. Like why did I walk away from Destiny Two originally? There was no random rolls. Yeah, everybody had the same guns. None of the there was nothing special about your gun that made it cooler than mine. There was no, there was no aspect of it that made same reason. Okay, I personally believe Sea of Thieves would be the greatest game of all time if it wasn't all cosmetic changes. Hmm. I feel like if I have a hundred hours and I've slayed ten sea beasts and conquered a hundred and five hundred islands, I should be able to have the fastest ship in the sea. But you know what makes Sea of Thieves so entertaining is that everyone's on the same level, no matter what. And Very true. It's skill. It's skill and communication. Because the way I, the the things I've seen people do on that game, where it's it comes ridiculous. To manipulating people, robbing people, or just trick, or just outgunning people purely based off of their skill. It oh, makes yeah. me. It makes me so happy to see that that there is a game out there like that. Like you know, you don't have a boost because of this random roll piece of gear. It's all skill, but. I mean, it's the same thing. You, it's a lot of games out there like that. Oh yeah, oh of course, but they're not for me. Um, I like I, as much yeah. as I enjoyed Sea of Thieves. I'm not a cosmetic guy. Mm-hmm. Like, and then it doesn't take much for me to move on. It take oh it it could seriously be a sneeze and a bad day, and I'm not playing the game anymore. Yeah, like, and it's it's it that's just me. I move on quick. That's why I'm a variety. That's why I'm a variety streamer, folks. But long story short, I've niched down, even though RPGs are a big niche, but you will see me playing only RPG heavy games on yeah. Twitch. Um, so I'm oh, of course I'm back on Twitch. I've rebranded, I've redone all my cards, I've even rebranded my YouTube page. Um my man's, came, out, my man's came back to Twitch and people left. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, so yeah, transitioning into that. Now, the reason I left Twitch um, had nothing to do with the reason these dudes left Twitch. For me, it was more of um, I would hate to miss another wave. Um, Because my cousin, he been told me, you know, shout out to Ant. He's been told me years ago to stream. Like, even before it was as big, before the Ninjas, before the, even before League of Legends, I want to say, got super huge on Twitch. He was, he the dude would watch that more than his cable. Yeah. He would watch Twitch and he was telling me and I should have listened. Uh, I thought it was stupid personally. And really? what it is, is I don't, 
Yeah, I thought it was really stupid. Wow. I was like, I'm not gonna sit there and talk to a camera all day and not look oh, at. Oh, you know what? Yeah, you, 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 you was yeah. that. You was that guy. Yeah, no, but it seems stupid as hell. You was that like, guy. I remember that. And and you know what's another problem of mine and why I'm not growing. Or one aspect to why I'm not growing like I should be or I could be um, is I have a hard time watching other people's streams. Mm. Like I really do. I'm not. I, I'm not that good at it, and then I don't often have that much time to sit. Do you watch sit. reality TV? No, do you I don't watch, watch TV? TV that much. I don't. So what do you, bro? Doing? I just really, I exactly. I don't know. Bro, Let me tell you. No, real talk. The most, the most TV I watch. I'll get home. Like let's say we weren't doing a podcast. My family goes to bed in probably like thirty minutes. What I'll do is. I'll sit up and we'll get home, we'll eat, I'll water the grass, we'll watch two episodes of something. Usually most of the shows I watch with the family with my wife are like 45-minute shows. Yeah. So, like right now, we're watching Eureka. Love it. Dope show. Classic. It's on Amazon Prime. I recommend everybody watch it, especially my nerds out there. Like, Anybody, and if you have an Amazon Prime, you do get one free Twitch subscription monthly. And you can... Flip a coin and figure out who you're gonna give it to. I'm trying to get better at this whole, you know, switch of I definitely, you know, I'm an affiliate now, you know. Oh yeah, way. congratulations! See, this one need a clap button. <laughs> this is where's the. I'm out here popping, you know, glowing up. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. No. So. Oh yeah, folks. Y'all need to understand. You're talking to two Twitch affiliates. Yes. Like Adventures of the Black Nerds is officially a Twitch affiliate home. We're a House of Learned affiliates. Like it, this is this is what we do. This is who we are. This is what we it's, do. It's no, yeah. Like we literally get paid playing video games. So um, so now this is not a hobby. Mm-hmm. Uh, it hasn't been a hobby for a while for me. But I just want y'all to know, we don't get. I I mean, I ain't got paid much. We ain't playing no games. We ain't playing no games. <laughs> when there's money involved, it's, it's, it's very serious. Um, you know, gamers for life. But um, but no. I don't watch that much TV, and then it, that's actually that's something I'm gonna work on. I'm gonna work on watching other people's streams and getting more into it. And uh, even in my Discord, like I have a hard time keeping up with people because that, like, I'm working on it. Like, I've been more active on Twitter. I've been watching videos on what to do and getting coaching. And I'm like, okay, and I'm trying to take those proper steps because you you have it down pat. Yeah. See, me, you you do the you do the part that's hard for me. See, listen, me. I, what I what I've done is I've completely taken regular scheduled programming TV out out of my life. I am gotcha. strictly on YouTube and Twitch. Like I watch a gang of YouTube and I watch a gang of Twitch. And sometimes it's not even me watching it. I just listen. I'll listen to it most of the time. Got so, you. and then if it's games that I find interesting, like for example, if I'm watching a Call of Duty streamer or if I'm watching a, a, a somebody play Rust, I not only I get to learn like the basic mechanics of these games just from watching and listening to it, but I also uh, I'm also some most because most of the streamers I watch are very entertaining. I'm talking about cracking jokes, doing different stuff like. I think the most entertaining Twitch streamer to right now is Dr. Disrespect. I think he, hands down the most entertaining. He does he there is nothing he doesn't do. Like when he, his waiting, his, you know, starting stream, he has like yeah. two of them. Like the other day I just watched him do one where like it say starting stream and then it looked like it's a it's like a a green screen of him driving and he's like, yeah, we're headed into the studio now. Uh, you know, when you guys get there, pull your cameras out, take your picture. Like, and he actually the the character and the the it's a it's a thing for him. So he's yeah. very entertaining in that aspect. Even when he like dies or when he's ranting or when he's even when he's just talking, you know, talking smack to people or about people, entertained all day every day. So I, if you haven't, that's an experience. If you've never experienced a doctor disrespect stream. You you have to now compared to like your 
Like, why I find it so hard watching player, like in watching professional esports players like your Tifus and stuff like that, they're super focused. Like, they're in their yeah. matches, they're super duper focused. And you just want to see, you you get to see excellent gameplay, like top tier A1 gameplay, but the interaction isn't there. So it's, I can listen to there, that yeah. all day. And when something spectacular happens, then I can turn my head and, you know, pay attention to what's going on, learn what he did, hear, listen to what he's talking about, this type of play or whatever. So um, that's why I find myself watching a gang of like games that I ain't never even seen or even thought about so i'll I'll watch like a game like rust if you've rust is super funny if you've never watched a commentary like a uh not a live commentary but um a rust rust gameplay with commentary back over it i don't even know some of the streamers that are the twitch or the youtubers that do it I, i can't even remember their names but them stories are the most hilarious things how this person decided to do this like it for example there was one story of a guy who um he got betrayed by a friend and he kind of explained everything that happened up to that moment and then he talked about what he did what he was going to do to get back at his friend and then he shows you then he he's like yeah we spent countless of hours trying to find an interest into the base and he narrates it to the t and it's it's I just found me and my wife sat there for like a cool eight hours and watched a gang of those videos. So you find a game most if you if you if you're entertained by a game like or if you've never played a game and you've always just wanted to you wanted to get into it, but you don't really have you're not like super duper pressed to get into it. Watch it yeah. on Twitch because you might find something that you're really intrigued. And and then the thing, and this is what I always say too. my last point on this. Twitch gives you something different that TV doesn't. This is why watching esports teams play is can be bittersweet because mm-hmm. you I I can yell at my TV all day. They don't hear me. Sure. But I can type something in the chat on Twitch or YouTube and somebody sees it cuz yeah, somebody, somebody may yeah. say something like I said this is the bittersweet part about it. Somebody may say something negative or out of line and you'll get your behind band and <laughs> now you're yeah. not in the chat no more. You gear banned from the chat. So, um, YouTube too. YouTube same thing. Just rabbit hole of information. Oh, Just, <laughs> bro, it's it's absolute bonkers. Man, especially when you play a game as heavy as I do. Like I play Destiny so much that there's nothing you can tell me about it. Nothing. So when I follow it so much on YouTube that when I see something new, I'm like, oh, that's a thing. Oh, let me see. Do I have that? Oh, can I do that? Let me try to accomplish that. And then you, it's, this is a community of people that want to help. So it's like, hey, we found this new glitch where you can get your super back in 15 seconds. All you need is this, this, this. Shit, I got that. Put it on. And I'm about to go do it too. And nobody can stop me. So. Hey, I'm getting sick and tired of Thunder Boots. I, I, I've got killed three times, bro. It's by getting patched tomorrow. Super. It's getting patched hey, tomorrow. <laughs> hey, I watched somebody run through. I died three times. No super should ever last that ever. It's getting, it's getting that patched long. tomorrow. I think. I think what they're but, doing to it tomorrow is going to make it a lot better. Hopefully, uh, I think they they normally sometimes see. With Destiny or with like patches like that, it's hit or miss because they'll tone them way too down where they'll kill it. It'll be pointless. And nobody uses it anymore. So, hey, well, let's save that for a sec. I want to, the reason we brought up a lot of this Twitch stuff in is, you know, I want to go back to the reason I left. I didn't want to miss the wave. Um, Like, I made the mistake because I was at E3 when Mixer came out. Mm -hmm. Like, when they announced it and released it. Uh, they were giving out fidget spinners and hand sanitizer and towels and yeah. hands. And they were like, mixer, mixer, as soon as you get home, it's live. And da, 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 da. Um, and I enjoyed it, but I wish I would have started streaming on it. You know what I mean? I really wish I would have because that it's like it would it's it's almost like jumping on Bitcoin. Like, yeah, think about think about Twitch. Think about what it was six years ago. Or yeah. it wasn't even around six. 
You know what I mean? Well, see, um, Twitch has been around a minute because well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what was it called? Not Ryan TV was, or whatever. It was called Justin TV. There you go. And um, and you know, Joe yeah. Rogan used to stream on Justin yeah. TV. And then Just, yeah, that's... Justin TV was was a streaming service not based just solely on video games. And then uh -huh. as more people started to use it, then it became this new thing. Because I remember people like Soda Pop, um, like he listened to, to that, and, and that's like a OG. You talk about Bitcoin. If you compare like streamers to that, that dude's like Bitcoin to stream. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? And uh. When you and so it starts off as this thing, and then it becomes this niche video games. You stream your video games now. You you thought it was weird to watch somebody play a video game or watch somebody edit, create, post this video game, and you sit there and watch it on an average 10 15 minutes video. You know what's crazier? Now you get to watch the person do it live. You get to hear them talk. Yeah. They get to interact with yeah. you. They can make you a mod if you're long if you've been there long yeah. enough. You get to interact with other people. You get to meet new people. They can help you do it became this, oh wow. This is why it was such a great thing when like or, or not a great thing, but this is why so many people like they didn't want it to change. Yep. So then, you know, I won't go too further, but then you get you get your Amazon, you well, get Twitch stuff today. Yeah, yeah, and it evolved to what it is. Yeah. Well, folks, I I wanted to bring up the fact of, um, for one, if you got, for whoever's listening, this is my call to action. If you've ever wanted to create a podcast, if you ever wanted to create a YouTube channel, or if you ever wanted to stream, if you ever wanted to just make videos, or if you want to do all of the above, do it. Mm -hmm. There's no such thing as oversaturation in this world we live in. I used to believe that, and I used to really feel that way. But you see new people becoming Twitch partners all the time. You see new people becoming successful on Mixer. You see people becoming super successful on Facebook. Um, it, it's it's all there for you. And then when it comes to podcasts, honestly. I regret not doing it sooner, but I'm happy we did. It's the easiest thing on earth. We did. Most of it is free source. Yeah, most of the most of it is free open source programs, and then a mic. Hands down, that's what it is. That's it. Like, that's all it is. And we I had promise it because we started streaming around the same time Thank we you. got it. So, mo I guarantee, it, it's, even if you got uh, Apple headphones, even though you know, bro, man, that's it. Even if you got headphones for your phone with a mic, what on is that's man. It works. Matter of fact, shout out to USS, um, another part of the Tone Deaf family. I remember doing a podcast and she was rocking like an Xbox headset. Yeah. Like, and that's People what made she was. Whole albums what, with with uh, Turtle Beaches. Oh yeah, I mean Steve Lacey <laughs> plays off his iPhone. Like, like it just look, folks. There's no excuse nowadays. There really isn't. If you hear me coming up with excuses. It's because I'm sleepy or I'm really just not in the house. Matter of fact, I've done a podcast over my phone through uh, through Spreaker. Not Spreaker. Uh, I forgot who it was through. And I legit sat on the phone for two hours doing a podcast. Mm -hmm. So there are really, I promise you people, there's even an app. It's called Anchor. You know, I hope these people pay me. Uh, they, It's a dope program. It, you can run a whole radio show from the phone. It even has background music, has call center set up, and it's all free. All free. Like it, it's it's it out there, free. people. Yeah, you really can't. And it's stuff you already have. And then what people, what I often notice, because I just ran into a, a couple who were talking about running a podcast. Um, hey Maya, um, they were talking about running a podcast. Well, the thing was, they I could tell they were like, "Oh, we got to get this, we got to get that." No, 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 no. You got to start somewhere. Yeah, I but think uh, I see I, in a bit. My mind, I see. No, don't, no, don't cry. No, it's okay, baby. Daddy loves you. Oh, she mad. She did not like that. Uh, it's okay, baby. I love you. Her mom came and snatched her up quick. But no, um, they, um, oh yeah, they were worried about all the equipment and. 
I told him, I was like, I started off with a snowball that my friend gave me who happens to be I'm gonna take, Jones. I'm going to tell you this right here. <laughs> I'm going to tell you this with that because I, can, I, can't, I can't tell you how many times I've told people, stop worrying about your equipment right now because yep. you're going to be overwhelming. I, you're going to be overwhelmed. The more equipment you get, the more things you need to take care of. The more things you're going to need yes. to fix. The more things you're going to have to troubleshoot. I remember yes. when we started, and I got this. Oh, God. Man, oh God. you know, even to this day, it's it never runs smooth. Even to this Folks, day. Knock, knock on wood, this has been the easiest it's been in a long time. You see what I'm saying? So much so that I try not to touch too much on my Bruh. computer. Because <laughs> we... Much. You, no, not even not even that. It just I got it down to a science now. Mm -hmm. Like I know exactly what needs to happen. You guys got to understand how many screenshots I have of settings. <laughs> how many? Uh, you guys got to understand. For a while, we went dark because we couldn't get our system set up, and it wasn't even. It wasn't that we didn't have nothing to podcast or we couldn't do camera. It was legit. We could not record. Yeah, and it was a plethora of things. Me not properly shutting off my computer, blase, blase, mm -hmm. finding out that I need to get powered USB ports. Like I went out and then this, and then this is the cool part too. And it's funny. We always have this talk every couple months, like this talk about intro and getting into it um, because it, things change. Like, well, for me, I finally, I invested, I spent damn near $50 on a, um, on a power 3.0 USB port. I needed it. Yeah. I I kept running. Let me where my rinky dink baby at. Come here. Come here, baby. I was running with this. I was running a podcast, folks. And for those who aren't watching and you're listening, it is clearly meant to be hooked up to an old school Mac setup because of the color scheme. It's a metallic. The it's like a they're not even metallic 3 plastic. ports. No, they're not even 3.0 ports. So I was running a uh, freaking mic, HyperX mic, and all type of craziness, and yeah. external hard drive. This thing, I'm surprised it didn't start a damn forest fire. But my point is, you do what you you do what you can with what you got until you get to a point to where you upgrade. Because mm -hmm. some people, you may not like it. Maybe podcasting yeah, and, isn't for you. And that was my point when I was telling people, like, "Yo, listen, you, it's cool to want to do this now." But where are you going to be at in a year? Yeah. That's, it, that's tested us. So when you go ahead and you drop four, $500 on some equipment that you use for three, four months, like, you know, you just wasted all of that. And and rightfully so. That's your money. It, it's it's yours to do with whatever you want to do. But I'm just saying on, on a smarter tip, it's easier to work with what you got, master with what you have, and then upgrade. Then start placing pieces where you want them. Because, like I said, we've been doing this podcasting thing for about two years now. And I get a lot of people that ask me, hey, how do you guys record? Or, hey, mm -hmm. what do you use? Or this. It's constantly. Friends and family hey. ask me all day. And I tell them, oh, what yeah. do you have? You yep. got a laptop? Use your laptop. Here's Plug some headphones in. Right use that. You know? Everything we have, we've accumulated over this two years. Oh, yeah. Not this a one-time purchase. Oh, no. I'd be so broke if this was you like see? a one-time. And I can't wait to look. Because as you can see, walls are empty. I'm moving. Yeah. I can't wait till I move and actually can do a proper setup video to show you how mm -hmm. minimalistic this is. Because it's really... It's not much. But it's a pain I was just talking to you earlier today about my co cables. Like, oh, bro. I'm not unplugging nothing. This is getting dragged out the hey, house. Bro. Hey, and you know what, folks? Like, I'm looking at my setup right now. I'm seriously running. I have a makeup light from a uh, from Miniso, which is like a Japanese dollar store. Yeah. Um, I, I have... The, one thing I think you do need to invest in is a ring light. I got one, but... I I got a I basically took it from my wife. <laughs> I jacked her for it. So uh yeah, I just needed a bowl for it. I'm good. What? <laughs> I, I hooked it up one time just to see what it was like and it, it's actually like it fills it's in all your clear. Yeah. Oh yeah. Maybe 
Yeah, I don't want everybody to see me. Hey, so I almost want to throw an audible. I, I was supposed to invite somebody onto the podcast, mm. and I just realized it. And he's active right now. Well, I don't we know got topics don't. to talk about. We th- yeah, let's let's jump on that. Yeah, so we so, said all of that to say this: Shroud and King Gathalion, Gathi- Gathi- which is a Destiny streamer, yeah. they took off this week. They headed on over to Mixer. And if you know King, if you see, I watch King Gath- King Gathalion. King Gathalion is that he is the type of character or the person that would do something like this because he's. <laughs> The reason why he's all about his stream, like it is a mm. job to him, but he doesn't even like traveling to events and stuff. He rather oh, sits at home you. and stream. So when you tell him, "Oh yeah, you can help grow a community over here," not only you get to help grow a community, but you'll be the the actual top guy over here, and we'll work with you. You get to work with people to make your thing better. And and try to help them grow something, that fat that fit right into him. With yeah, Shroud, I, I wasn't expecting Shroud to take off. Like that one was well, like, dang, he took off. Whoa. Well, you got to think about it this way: these fools got immediate checks to make the move. Of course, if somebody offered me an immediate check right now for any amount above a thousand, I would jump to. Yeah, but you now let's play. Let me play devil's advocate though. With the money, it we don't know where Mixer will be in the next. Very true. Five Twitch. Years. Let's say I don't think years. Twitch is going anywhere. Twitch, you don't bet against Amazon, and you don't bet against Facebook. Once again, those are you, just you, you, you. Those are just real. Yeah, you brought up big. You brought up crypto. Twitch mm-hmm. is Bitcoin, and that yeah, ain't, ain't going, going nowhere. So they would have to royally, royally mess up. Exactly. No, I can't imagine what it would take for Twitch to truly just bottom out. I can't. They can't. They they can't. They're backed by Amazon. They they offer so many different stuff to people who, you know, no matter what you say, like it literally is. Um, you can watch this for free. Yeah, you may have to watch a thirty second ad or whatever. But that's look how small that is compared to being able to watch this person stream. I think they're they're also go, learning as they go and and innovating as they do as they go to offer like a thing like a subscribers chat only at certain points in the day or certain times or followers only where it incentivizes people. Hey, click that follow button, follow me, and then you mm-hmm. get to talk to me. And understand where I'm from and wh- what I'm about, and you get to actually see. Because if you're in here lurking, I think what that did was that that wanted to minimize on like the lurking and up the interaction between people. Yeah. So and that actually, and that was a big reason I left too. Yeah. I keep I keep remembering all these reasons. They got rid of communities. Now they did that, thinking it would. I don't I don't remember exactly what they were thinking. But I know it has something to do, like you said, interaction and um, getting proper proper people in the channels. Yeah. But what happens is the tag system is so vague that all the tags that I actually use put me in the same category as all the big wigs. Mm-hmm. So here it is. Oh. Thank God for my two or three viewers. Yeah. My viewers, I'm at like page 10. In a group, all because of tags, yeah. because there is no other tag to put me in a smaller category. Maybe I got to start using fake tags. Yeah, like hey, I mean, uh, you, I'm sewing. You could like, do that, but I, I, I think what they, if I had to guess, because I don't know for a fact, if I had to guess why they they did something like that was they have so many different extensions for community based situations, like like your Discord extension and stuff like that. So it was more so, hey. Listen, we we see that ma- the majority of people are using these other things because I didn't even know they had they have Destiny extensions, they have Call of Duty extensions, all of these different extensions that people who are in this community can use, and it it already a- uh, answers a gang of questions when you go on. For example, if I go to a Destiny streamer's Twitch page right now, 
nine times out of 10, they're going to have that Destiny API extension on there. So instead of me hacking, hey, what chess piece is that? I turn around and click it and it show me exactly what it is. And it brings you to Discord and hey, jump into Discord and you can see this and that. And so they're not completely shutting out everything else. They're trying to, hey, we accept all the things that you guys are using. That's my only guess to it. I didn't really care. I didn't really think too much about communities because I've already established my small consumer base. Let me, let me tell you, if it wasn't for communities, I truly believe I wouldn't be a Twitch affiliate mm -hmm. because I, I played, it, it was, it was something for me to maximize in the way of, I found a small game or a game that's not super popular that I truly enjoy and I was able to play it for. So I would go into the community. Yeah. It was mountain blade. I would literally go to the, I would search, I would type in mountain blade in the community search and it would be a group of 30 people not looking for watching people who play mountain blade. Yeah. So I'd be in there, be one of five videos mm -hmm. with 30 viewers who wanted to watch mountain blade. Yeah. I was a big fish in a small pond. Hell yeah, that's a market. But that's gone now. They yeah. took that, and that's why I I feel bad for the people who are coming into it now. Mm -hmm. Because that aspect, well, I, eh, it's kind of hard to feel bad because if it's something you never had, you don't miss it. Yeah, You know, it's kind of hard. It's, you know that whole saying. I said it backwards, but you get me. Um, they, um, it was a serious tool that really, it was the quickest, easiest way for me to capture the market I was looking for. Yeah, It was almost, it was like shooting fish in a barrel. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, I want to play UFC. There would be a UFC created character community. 15 people in there. It got you. Mm -hmm. Boom. Go into it, click it, stream directly to it with that community tag. You were killing the game. And actually, shout out to Spawn on Me uh, podcast. Uh, see, I've been watching more people. I've been interacting more. I've been see. getting my Twitter game and Twitch podcast. We got to try a Twitch podcast. We got to try it one day. We, 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 um, it's going to be hard, but we got to try it. Yeah. Um, but he brought up that point, too, that the missing of uh, com communities, it was actually a big hit to the smaller streamers and what it did was just make it to where now the ones who are already sitting top of the tables your big names all is doing is flooding people more that way yeah so it's almost it's almost starting to become like a cable setup mm -hmm. like here it is you it all these channels you got you got a thousand channels but you're only looking at 10 yeah let's be real yeah, i don't know too many people See Go me, ahead. me, I per, like, and I've always find myself doing this because I, like, I'm, I'm really cool with trying to, trying to dive as deep as I can into this community. So I always find myself like switching my filter from like high to low to low to high, and just scrolling that way. Now that's just a me thing, you know. But to be able to add, you know, different, um filters in there and be able to search through these filters so maybe i'm looking for something specifically i go to gotcha. that directory type in what i'm looking for and maybe i find it maybe i don't maybe there's it's not in there maybe i gotta go to a different you know a different directory different game probably but i I've, i utilize that because that's me but i do i don't think everyone even knows about features like that i think they have their their niche. Most of the time when you go to a new game and you click on it, you're probably going to click the first guy first, unless you go out of your way hey, to go to the yeah. middle of the pack or the end of the pack and see what it is from that guy, from the lower guy's perspective. So I, and I get is, it. I do get it though. And you know, you know, it's another weird thing about the Twitch community, what? The, the streaming community as a whole. It's super strange that most of the people who interact with me, actually, I'm take that back. I got, um, I've got a group of people who aren't streamers that really interact with me. You know, um, shout out to Johnny. Um, but most of, oftentimes, it's streamers supporting the streamers. Yeah. 
And it's not a bad thing, but it's also it's, it's almost like a strange business model. Like, bro, we, I, remember when I remember when I gave you that point of like when I when I told you about like likes and yeah, like that, it is the yeah. exact what yeah. Like, how does that hurt you? It don't hurt nothing. If I play with you on yeah. a daily basis and I got a thousand people watching me right now, yeah, and I say, hmm. Hey, I'm getting off, but my boy here is streaming. Yep. I want y'all to jump in his chat and throw a gang of Fs in the chat. Let them know that TJ's gang is here. I'll catch y'all yeah. later. Peace. Sl- was it backslash host Baron J67? Yeah. And now you got an extra Simple thousand people. That. How did that hurt me? It didn't hurt nothing. You see what I'm saying? So what does it why does anything. it why what hurts me if I just like it? Even if I don't watch it, even if I don't care for the content, what happens to me? How am I hurt? Did, did, did I lose a thumb? Did, no. did I, you probably lost a calorie. Oh. <laughs> but so, well, what's so crazy is it's so hard to see that happen. But this is but on, but on another note, nobody owes you anything. Of course, and I and get it, is- and I and I completely wholeheartedly understand that. I don't. It's see what's funny is this isn't me complaining. It's just me pointing out something that's super strange. Yeah, like it's it's a it's a weird economy, where but at the same time though, just like with stores. So folks, I used to work at the mall. Um, I used to work at a prominent mall in my in my neighborhood or my town or city, whatever it is. Um, I uh, one thing I noticed is people go into stores where there's other people. It's it's the weirdest weirdest thing ever Mm -hmm. so i would go like i had a friend of mine who worked in like a weird niche like goth store like goth lingerie store and we would seriously go in there and just chill and be talking and hanging out and then all of a sudden droves of people would come in nobody would walk in the store nobody would walk in there because it looked intimidating it really did and then you had a couple hot chicks sitting in there staring you down wearing slightly goth and punk outfits so you you like if you weren't comfortable, you you'd be a little iffy walking in. Yeah. Well, but as soon as you seen other people in there, people would just stroll on in. It's like you know you wanted to go in anyway, but you didn't want to be that one guy. Yeah. Or that one person. Um. So it's funny now rolling that over to streaming. It's the same thing. Yeah. Because and that's why I like. On the other hand, even though it's strange, I like the whole ecosystem of, hey, let me go hop in the stream. Even though I'm a streamer too. Let me go jump in because now instead of being two people in the stream, now you see six. Yeah. So now you move up the page. So now, because what you notice, and you could check it right now, usually what you'll see a whole bunch of zero streamers or zero viewer streamers. You'll see a bunch of singles. Mm-hmm. But then as soon as you branch out past five, you immediately skyrocket. Yeah. Into a whole new it's tier like five, of five, 13. Yeah. 17, yeah. 22. Yeah. 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 You seriously jump. It, it's it it's crazy how it does not take much. Yeah. Um, and then what what also is trippy is I wonder I wonder if they'll ever pull a um not well, who's a good example of it? Uh maybe a YouTube algorithm or like will it be in the future not so much viewers? But chatters, like, could you imagine if they pulled that? Like, who who's getting the most? That would actually probably set you up better. I feel like a lot of people would do better That's if it wasn't be hard, based so much. Though, of, oh, it'd be impossible. It'd be, oh yeah, it'd be super hard because you, I may jump into, or somebody may jump into somebody's stream and be washing dishes or something, or oh yeah, or somebody may jump into somebody's stream and don't want to talk. And, True, but they'll donate. Yep, they may donate. They may throw some bits there. They may oh, yeah. see. Oh, they may look and see. Oh, there's a sub train going. A minute left. Let me get ready to sub to keep the sub train going. Oh, he's at a hundred sub train. Let me sub and keep the sub train going. Let me contribute to this particular person. It's been I plenty need- of times where I'll jump into his chat, and it'll say, "Uh, follower chat on, or only right now, or whatever." And I be like, that's cool. I just wanted to see what you was doing or what you talking about. Yeah, yeah. I don't need to talk yeah. to you. So, I think that I think a lot of I think streamers wouldn't like that mm. because 
ask ask I, if if I ever get the opportunity, I would love to ask like a specific streamer like, is it easy to recognize and remember your uh, people who are in your chats? Remember their names when you have fifteen thousand people watching you consistently. When you got you know twelve thousand people watching and commenting. And then let's not even say all 12,000 is watching you. Let's yeah. just say half of that is actually, and when I say watching, I mean they're actually typing, they're actually communicating to you, they're actually subbed slash followed to your channel, they have actually donated, so active viewers. How many of those names do you actually remember? Is it only moderators? Do you only and, remember your moderators or do you remember the Joe Schmo that jumped in there for this week? He's been in there every day this week and he's been constantly talking to me. Do you remember him? Mm. So th that would be, that's one of my questions because I don't see how you could do that. How could you keep up? I think, I think I want to say you can set it up to where you have like your subscriber only or you know what I often what I often see is people like have their Discord up, mm -hmm. and it'll be like because Discord I often it mm, that's a good question, man. I couldn't imagine. Yeah, I feel like he bet even and then even if you had your Discord up and you talking in the Discord and yeah. you gotta watch chat and you gotta I, play I, the game, man, you might as well I, just do just chatting. <laughs> bro, bro, put the I just, camera on you know me and just yeah. man. Which hey, you know it's funny. I set up a bunch of different overlays. Mm -hmm. uh, well, no, I downloaded a, a pack that has a bunch of overlays. I kind of edit them a little bit. Yeah, but I legit will do that. Like if I'm playing a game, like what happened? Um, I was playing Outer Worlds, which is an amazing game. It's everything. It has everything that Fallout Four was missing, mm -hmm. and I can talk about that in a sec. Um, but me and pro we're going back and forth and we're having a real good conversation. So I just switched to my just chatting, pause the game. Yeah. Like, and it just turned into, you know what, man, let, you know, and we were just back and forth, back and forth. And, um, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to make, for one, I want to be entertaining, which I think I'm pretty good at that part. I'm not tooting my own horn, but I think I'm entertaining. I think I'm okay. Yeah. Um, and then I, I'm very animated when I'm gaming, even when I'm not on camera. Like that's that's just who I am, which I got clips to prove it. Um uh, click that please. <laughs> click that please. Oh god. Um, but one thing I want to start incorporating is I want to start getting my uh my viewers and my chatters more into the like having more say over what I do in the game. You like you gotta um, play games that do that. Well, yeah. no, I mean, even with Destiny, like hey. Should I run shotgun or should I run bow? Oh, okay. Simple stuff no, like that. Yeah, that's cool. Very but simple. Very I watched simple. the dude do in the outer world. The whole game is like that. What should I say to this dude? Yeah. Should I, I cut him out or shoot him? Like, I seen a dude do that in Fallout, and I seen a dude do that in, in a run through heavy rain. He did ooh, a, yeah, ooh. and he was like, he made the what he did was every time he got to a specific situation, uh, he had a moderator put up. Like vote now. You got thirty seconds to vote for what me to what I should do. And as they put it out there, the timer would start. And then whenever, it, whatever it ended, whatever whichever one had the most votes, he would then do that option in the game. So there's there's games for that. Yeah. I've even oh, yeah. seen, which is something I would love to do with my wife one day, is a a horror uh, stream where you play like one of these horror games. In the dark and stuff, and then you're streaming it. I want to do that with my wife one day because I think it'd be hilarious because she don't like scary movies. I don't care. Mm. I, I watch scary movies all the time. But when you watch it, like I played the first ten minutes of Outlast, and I turned it off. I was like, no, this ain't fun. Like um, people in my face. Like you turn around and it's a dude this close yeah, to your face bro. in the game. Like I'm good, man. This not in the town. I want to hone my. ADS and TTK skills and find my, you know, my rhythm oh, with shooting people. Bro, you, so. know, you know, I was pissing people off with the boat last night. Did you get I the was... exotic one? No. Bro, you know, you know, look. Get your life together, okay, bro. bro. 
folks, okay, let's let's run through this real quick. Um and um you know, let's let's send some positive energy out to a homeboy of mine, a good friend. He's really really dealing with some heavy shit. Sorry to pause it. Um but much love, man. Uh really really hope everything works out how it's supposed to. Um but okay. Let's let's run through the topics cuz I really do want to talk about Destiny. Um and what Bro, what other game we're talking about I'm Destiny today? We're not because I got a lot to say. Okay, okay. I got a lot but, to say right. on. Uh, all right, the Last well, of Us. And okay, Ubisoft. well, yeah, let's talk about the delays because so, I, I I hate Watch Dogs. That game, <laughs> that game is oh. booty boo. <laughs> that was one of the most overhyped. Under delivering games on Earth, the first Watch Dogs. Bro, I played, it was, I was they put so in. excited for that game. I was so excited to be able to hack a camera instantly, see where the enemy's at. That game is butt. <laughs> I'm good. It was it, it was like a shell of it wasn't even a shell of Grand Theft Auto. It was a shell of uh Saints Row. Man, boo, Saints Row was it better. Was a, Boo. Oh, of course, boo! You saw it. <laughs> Saints Row. It was it was absolute. Oh gosh, man! And it, you know why it was so bad? One, they charge full price. That's one thing Ubisoft has gotten b- good at is they understand that they're giving you sk- reskins and stuff, <laughs> so they'll sell you a brand new game for forty for thirty nine off the rip. Like the newest Far Cry, I want to say was forty bucks yeah. off the rip, like day one. But I, which one thing I I, I like stuff like that, yeah. like. Imagine if 2K did that, but we're not gonna go down that road. Yeah. Um, let's uh okay. So the delays. I love the idea of these delays because one, we got new consoles coming out. Okay, well, first of all, we need to say what was delayed. Last of Us oh, Two yeah. was pushed back uh mm-hmm. till May 2020. It was supposed to be released on PlayStation in February 2020. And then uh-huh. also Ubisoft delays Watch of Us Legion. Ubisoft. Whatever. Yeah. Boo. And then Gods and Monsters, which they... I I got so much questions about that. And then also Rainbow Six Quarantine. So, um, now, uh, with Watch Dogs in the trash can, because that's where I threw it, threw it right in the trash can. Boo. Uh, They they said... I I didn't know anything about this Gods and Monsters game, but when I did research it, it's supposed... It marketed as like a cartoonish... um, Assassin's Creed. That scares me. Really? Yes. Th- that don't scare you? I got the article right here. I, I got receipts, bro. <laughs> wow. Um Are you are you Wow. All of these games are open world like like that's two of them back to back. I mean and then y'all, y'all for sure dropping one bad one. Watch Dogs, we know it's gonna be bad. I'm not. No, hey, I'm gonna tell you this. My brother, he's playing the heck out of Watch Dogs too. That's he loves brother, that though. game. He, he's he's very he always different. likes all of them. Boom off the wall. Hey, hey, man. You know it's strange. That dude was playing Wildlands up to like Breakpoint came out. <laughs> I'm still playing that. He, I got trophies to and, get. <laughs> bro, I respect people like that because I'm like, dang, you really... It reminds me of when I was a kid. Mm. See, I, the idea of that now I can, I can like go out and buy all the games I want, or at least I shouldn't, but I try to. But now it's just I don't play them. Yeah. And it, I have so many incomplete games. I think actually... When my schedule really opens up, because I got a for sure schedule right now, I stream for sure three days, and then I'm gonna stream tonight after we finish podcasting. Yes, sir. Um, I want to. I want to do a uh, what what do I call it? Uh, backlog day, like backlog Thursday, because like, I oh, backlog Thursday. How about Throwback Thursday? That's already there. You know that, right? You just created a yeah, whole <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no, no Thursday. No. No, well, I don't want to call it Throwback Thursday because that makes it seem like I played it before. Or but finished you did. It. <laughs> but I didn't. M- most of the games I you still did, haven't you beat Skyrim. Finished. You I ain't still haven't beat it. Skyrim. And I've bought Skyrim probably six times. 
that's just, that's bad, bro. Well, no, it's that much to do. What I always make the mistake of going in and spending the first forty hours mining and creating all this gear. We we put Warframe. We trying to kill some on Warframe. Hey, nah, I think I'm about to go fish. And yet, I'm fishing on Warframe. <laughs> Let me be great. I was, and then y'all gonna bring the bad guys over to me. Nobody was bothering me. I'm out there catching fish, gathering resources. Shout out, or who Kiddo knows what and Mufasa. Yeah. yeah, Mufasa and Kiddo. Much love to you guys, man. Hey, they're hopping on Destiny too, so we might have to be bouncing bro, back and forth between. They most definitely should get a PlayStation, bro. Everybody <laughs> should just get PlayStation, bro. Look, man, I'm gonna be real with you. If play because I own both, so I stand on the ground. I'm on both forever. I think on, yeah, I think everybody should own both, but I mean like just that's some baller shit. <laughs> but no, but let me tell you what my only issue with PlayStation, and this is completely off topic, is the interface is really clunky to me. Bruh, I feel like I said that about Xbox. Xbox, I get lost. I had to take off them tiles. I had okay. to strip the whole thing. <laughs> okay, I got you, but. My issue with PlayStation is I feel very binary. It's very what it is. Gaming. Boom. Which is cool. That's not a bad thing. Yeah. But the part that gets me is, okay, let me invite this dude to the game. So then I invite him. Then another box pops up. And then it says, then click invite again. Oh, yeah. That alone is irritating. I think I crunch numbers. For a living, that's how I feed my family. Is I look at papers and crunch numbers and look at computers. If I had to, we you know as a company, tell you why I like that? Because what to make sure you wanted to really invite that dude? Yeah, no, not only that, but because some <laughs> people invite you and they won't, and they have I, they have to tell me what it is. Like, tell me why you invite me? Because you just I, if I don't play with you, like it's different if I play with you every day. If I play Got with you. you every day, and then see, there's there, the things you're talking about. They they have things to avoid that. If you join session from the game without going to the interface, you don't you avoid that stream all, that that altogether. Whereas I with you. with me, if me and you don't play like that on a daily basis, and you send me an invite, how I know you playing Gambit. You could be running around on the moon. I don't want to run around on the moon. So that gives you a an option to say, what? A lot of people run around on the moon. Yeah, because it's the I've moon noticed area. That. I, mean, uh, I got you. People hit you. People message me. I, you know how many times I'm in the tower and I get an invitation, and then I don't say nothing back, and they'll send another invitation, and then they say what they want me to join for. All right, cool. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm going to tell you, describing it like that, Okay, that sounds great, but I'm not. That's not a mechanic I'm used to on any level. Yeah. Because for me, I don't game with that many people to begin with. Mm -hmm. So, like, even on PlayStation, I'm not gaming with that many people. Yeah. Um, but if I, you, like I said though, if you invite me from the game without leaving the game, or if I join from the game, if I'm playing with you, I could just instantly join. And there is gotcha. no other screen. But I mean, regardless of that, that is something that is there that is not on Xbox. So I just, the way you say in like the interface, how the interface is, is the exact thing I said about Xbox. So I was like, yo, it was just so much. Like even joining parties for me on Xbox until I got used see, to it, I was like, yo, this is awkward. Like why? But let me tell you, as somebody who's on actively switching between consoles on a regular basis, I can honestly say that PlayStation is clunky only because it adds an extra step in between everything. Mm -hmm. Where Xbox, I'm like, okay, even with capturing, even with capturing on Xbox, it's home and like why, home and why, and boop, screenshot, and I'll do whatever I'm gonna do with it later. Okay, you, that's a bad example because PlayStation have shortcuts where you can push a button and then it captures. Or you could push a button, or they have like uh, shortcuts with three modes. So you can push and it'll take a screenshot. You can double press and it'll start recording, or you can press and hold and it'll save your recording. So okay, yeah, See? those things are there, and that's that's beautiful. 
That's beautiful. Bad. Thank you for thank you for sharing me that sharing that with me. But I shouldn't have had to find that out through podcasting. Bro, it's on there. <laughs> That's how I know you don't read. Listen, listen, <laughs> no, but guess what? It's guess sitting what? On right Xbox, there. Peep this, peep this. On Xbox, as soon as I hit the home button, it quickly describes what's there. Boom. Yeah. Why is to do that? It does that do on that. PlayStation. <laughs> I and the guy, bro. You talking? How you think I got them clips of me murdering people with sniper rifles? Bro, that's how I record. I'm, it says it on there. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna take your word for it because you've actively been playing on PlayStation for so long. But I'm just telling you, as somebody who runs both consoles and the Switch, I can say that out of all three current consoles, and then PlayStation, you, it's console. easy for you to you and me to say what we're saying because that's what we play. You play Xbox more than you play PlayStation, whereas I play PlayStation not as more than I play Xbox. Yeah, but you're not using those features on your PlayStation. You're not recording, saving no, recording, and stuff like that. Like but Xbox it's just it's but it's funny, bro. We got off topic. Enough of that. Um, yeah. What were we supposed what, to talk what about? Else? Oh, so, okay. So, give me your last thoughts on the Fallout 76. Oh, delays. Oh, on Fallout 76? Even, yeah, we didn't even really... Okay, okay, folks. We got... This will be the last topic. So, with Fallout... Um, Fallout 76 is a game that we own that we did not play. Nope. I played the beta. Um, I knew as soon as I played the beta that this game was going to be uh, not for me. And it felt like it was way too open for, for it to be a cash grab mm -hmm. for Bethesda. And Bethesda has truly shown their colors because not only have they not fixed all the problems, or at least the majority of the problems that are with the current get base game now, they have not addressed a lot of the issues. They It's almost like they're ignoring the community. Um, but then on top of that... They say, y'all gonna play my game. They, my game. They... They are the Suge Knight. Bethesda is acting like Suge Knight of the gaming industry right now. Um, you don't want almost dancing in the videos. <laughs> let me let me tell you, almost um almost worse than what EA, 2K, and all these people are doing because Man. yes, because these worse folks than Activision? are bro. At least Activision is money grabbing towards the one game. These people. Are charging up to it'll cost you a hundred dollars a year to get things that for one should have been in the game, mm -hmm. such as search storage, such as private servers. That's how they sold the game. You run it, you playing Fallout with your friends. That is the big sell for Fallout 76. So for them to make private servers a feature that's only only um only way into that feature, I'm forgetting the word to use, is only way to have access to that feature is through this membership. Bro, people are so hot about this that players who are wearing gear that were that sh clearly show you are a, a, a Fallout subscription member, people are being targeted and yeah. bullied. Yeah, I see and that. I don't blame damn bootlickers. No, you cannot support this type of crap because bro, you can't i don't agree with that you can't be mad at somebody what if they enjoy the game <laughs> what if that's what no. they want to do hey, I and guess what that's fine he said, he said ball out. burn they town just, <laughs> hey ball out you just gonna get nuked every five minutes burn. every time we get a body your shit and we melt it down <laughs> i almost want to start playing just so I can become a bounty hunter for these goddamn members. He said, like he said, we sit hey, at your crib, homeboy. No, that's a nice outfit you got there, member. <laughs> hey, bro. No, because and you know what it is, dude. And it it is messed. First off, that sucks for the people who are getting bullied. I'm joking. Yeah. That really does suck. I couldn't imagine being completely crapped on digitally. I I got to deal with day to day drama of people, human beings. Then I got to deal with the human beings picking on me in my game because I look flyer than them, or I got more storage space. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep picking got, on me because I got a private server with your broke you, ass. Now you gotta hide what you are. Hey, hey, yeah, what you? Are. Hey, what was that emo? Do that again. Nah, I'm good. I got the default <laughs> default skin. He's like, hey, that that's some nice Ranger gear you got there. 
<laughs> instantly uh, switch. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, can you imagine being in the server? You hear somebody say that? I'm fast traveling <laughs> home, dog. I'm I'm out of here. He's like, hey, that's a nice banner you got over your name, man. You. Like, uh, <laughs> hey, let me talk to you. Hey. <laughs> Hey, hey, can I get a drop? The <laughs> hey, run the caps. <laughs> Stupid. Hey, oh, look. Man. Oh, so it looks like you like to spend, uh, looks like you like to go to the atomic shop, huh? <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, go ahead and drop that email. Hey, no, real talk, bro. Oh, people man. is really getting, getting ganged up on in this game. Hey, but this is the cold part. This is the really cold part. Mm. I'm terrified. For, I'm terrified at what Bethesda is doing because Bethesda was up there with the CD Projekt Reds. Yeah, for me, for you, yeah. they were up there with the Devolver Digitals. They were up there with uh, Chucklefish. These are companies that they put out. So Chucklefish created Starbound, uh, created uh, Stardew Valley, and then uh, Devolver created a bunch of crazy off the top indie games that are not even indie, but it's. Oh, bunch of crazy games such as i think they did like hotline miami um they, a bunch off the wall games that i can't even think of title uh the messenger i think they did the messenger ninja game whatever my point is these are companies where when they put out something if it's your type of game that you enjoy it's going to be top tier product yeah like it's not it's not going to be like even like it but but that's it used to be up there they used to be in that company where hey, yeah, it may be glitchy. I'll give you that. Their games is glitchy as hell. It's a running joke. But there's a difference between glitchy and your game don't work. <laughs> I'm a I, so like I was telling you earlier. I think that uh, I think that they seen that Fallout seventy six didn't make wasn't the return. It financially didn't give them the return they wanted. Um, and this was just stuff they had. Oh, stop! I gotta, I gotta add the other point. I'm so sorry to cut you off, you bro. Rude. This, I'm very rude. This hundred dollar premium service is on top of the cost of the game. Yeah. You ain't even bought the game yet. So, so you have there's to buy the game. Then buy Christmas. That. No, I'm gonna tell you, there's gonna be about a good thousand poor kids across the world, maybe even just in the U.S. Well, grandma is going to go and buy them the premium service for this game and they ain't even going to own the damn game yet. But then they're going to have to use their gift card in, that they gave them to defense, go buy this punk ass game. In defense, this this packet, this package that they're selling for this premium service that they're selling is marketed for the people who are playing it now. If you sit and think yes. about it. Because of course. private worlds, like if you're not an advocate 76 player you don't care about that unlimited free space for materials yeah you really don't care about that yeah so um True. yeah so that in a sense that's you know i mean and then it's the perfect timing i don't when did, when is it supposed to come out or is it already out i think it's it's already out oh yeah it's People already, already out. Getting yeah. It. christmas time man this is let me let me get to my point i don't think 76 made financially made the money that they wanted to make. So let me it, tell you why you're wrong. Fallout 76 went gold before it even released. Yeah, that's off the name though. Fallout 4, we say Fallout 4 is we didn't like Fallout 4. I'm pretty sure Fallout 4 broke records. Oh yeah. Keep going, my let bad. Me know when I when I need to go again. Cause you just no, like keep your, going. You just like your damn cousin, rude. Keep going. So, uh, yeah, this is stuff that they had in the stash. When you hear people talking about private worlds, that should have been in the game. You marketed it like that. That was something that was like, yo, that's our secret weapon. We gonna hang on to this real quick. This is what they want. Let's hang on to this. Let's not drop everything all at once because now we're left playing catch up, having to create. So just like what most games are now, they gave you guys free a uh, uh, um, uh, early access video game and they kept all of the sweet stuff until this moment where it was like, yo, we need to make a push. We need to make mm. a push because we didn't make what we were supposed to make. 
I don't see people talking about Fallout as much as I thought they should have, especially a game like this, especially a game with a battle royale in it, and and they did all of that for this game, and you, sure. I still don't hear people talking about it as much. As, I I don't even go to the thing. Our basis of video games is we always go to YouTube or we always go to Twitch and find out yep. where the hell that game is at in the directory. How where is many it ranked? Out? In that directory right now, watching that game, and I guarantee you. It's not in the top 50, if I had to guess. No, I'll take that back. It's not in the top 25. Let me say top 25 video games right now on Twitch mm. as we speak. So I don't think they made what they were supposed to make. And this was just like a all-out Hail Mary. Because, and another reason why I say that, this is so unlike Bethesda. So unlike Bethesda. When they, the drop, game. A, when they drop a video game... They'll give you a massive game and then come out with a DLC. And then this True. is, th- think about think about Fallout 3. Let's use Fallout 3. Hell, we can use Fallout 4 as an example. Give you this massive game. Beautiful. Well, the game's supposed to be beautiful. The game's supposed to have an amazing storyline. And then three months later, to follow the trend of your Call of Duties and whatever, hey, here's this DLC alongside the game that you have. You don't even have to touch this part of the world, but it's there for you to do. Bong. Then another DLC. Then another DLC. Then something else. Then you got people making mods on the PC version. That's other mm. content outside of that. So I think sure. they literally said, I think we fucked up. I don't think we did what we were supposed to do. And we need to give the people what they want, but we need to make them pay for it. This is so unlike them. For them to to give out content that was supposed to already be in the game from day that one, part. and then telling you, oh yeah, it's subscription base, $12.99, hit me with the 12 or pay 100 for 12 and you get it like you trying to like who you hustling oh, oh and that's the that's so, the wild part hey actually i'm so happy i'm going through the streaming list because mm-hmm. there's a bunch of games on here that got decent viewers that i would actually like stay like, on topic okay folks well we're done um damn we are fallout done. yeah fallout is absolute right now uh bethesda <laughs> is on thin ice You're they canceled. really uh the cancer Bro, culture has spoken. Dude, let me tell I just folks. Wait. Wait until that game is like twenty dollars for the special edition version. Nah, because wait. go ahead. Ah, it, it it's it, gosh, man. It's sick. It's sickening. Man. The same people who created but you know what? We should have known something was going to be up when there was a there's legit a Alexa version of uh, uh, Elder Scrolls. If you have Amazon and you got Alexa, you can go play Elder Scrolls on your Alexa, hmm. like right now, and it, oh, and man. you'll do a a verbal walkthrough like that's. So it started off as a joke, but then you got to think, holy hell, they even put the damn game on Alexa. But besides the point, folks, look. Oh, guys, support us any way possible. If you're hearing my voice right now, I need you to click on our links below and go to our YouTube pages and subscribe. Go to our YouTube page here, subscribe. subscribe follow us on Spreaker. Follow, uh, make sure to save us on uh, Spotify. Make sure that everywhere you see us, I need. we need y'all help. We Just really to, do. Uh, uh, give you guys some clarity. It's uh, 9 o'clock. Uh, on a Monday, uh, that's nine o'clock Pacific time, and uh, Fallout seventy six has one hundred and sixty six viewers as of right now. Bro, just had there, to you know let y'all know that you know. And and to add some more scale to it, there is five hundred and forty five people playing Diablo two. Are watching people play Diablo two? I quit, you man. Thank you. If y'all I just, broke, I just, just say y'all broke, bro. You start a GoFundMe, yeah. bro, bro. Pay <laughs> bro. the twelve dollars for the GoFundMe, dog. Bro, I'm just, I'm being real. Like, how is it that a game that I was playing on a potato when I was a kid has more views than a game that just put out a streaming service, a, a premium classic, service? Bro, that's classic. Hell yeah, it was. But, but my point, I'm not dissing Diablo. 
I'm saying, why is it that it's got so many damn viewers mm -hmm. compared to a game that just came out with this grand, you know, them damn bootlickers. Stomp them! No, I was playing. That's not <laughs> right. Hey, folks. Folks, serious though, we really do need your guys' support. Take your time. Go look at... I have a Patreon page. We're going to get T. Jones' Patreon page up. Everything is in the It's all below. below. Please, 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 please. We need all the help we can get. Um, without you guys, we're just talking to cameras. I like talking to cameras. I actually like it too. I don't know why I said it like it's a bad thing. I, I really do. But we'll, we can better talk to cameras with your guys' support. So I'm rambling on. I'm Baron J67. I am uh, T. Jones. Man, Peace. much love, guys. Peace. Peace.